Welcome, welcome, welcome to our English Best Additional Language Tutorial Lesson by Miss Lechuti. Today we are going to do Concord and as well as how to correct errors in a sentence. <clears throat> Pardon me. But I'm going to start first by explaining to you what we mean by Concord and as well as taking you into the course of dividing a sentence into a subject, verb and an object and have the background understanding because at the later stage we are going to use them. Uh, let us kick start our lesson. Happy learning. Right. Concord in its simplest form is the agreement of words in a sentence. Concord again can refer to, uh, it can simply mean subject and verb agreement. A typical example, if you say the boy is crying, the words agree because you are talking about one boy. But you cannot say the boy is crying. The, the subject does not agree with the verb. It's supposed to be the, the boys are crying. So when words agree in the sentence, that was, that's what we mean by concord. And then subject, it refers to anybody or anything that performs the action in the sentence. In most cases, the subject will be the first name, if not the first word of the sentence. And then a verb, we know that a verb is an action word, is a doing word. And then an object is anything that is affected by the action of the verb. Now, in, the full, in these sentences, I'm going to show you using only three sentences how to identify the object. Both boys have their own merits. The first thing that you need to ask yourself is that who has their own merits? Both boys. Therefore, both boys in the sentence becomes our subject. Every girl comes on time. Who comes on time? Every girl. So therefore, every girl becomes our subject in the sentence. So the key word is that for any sentence to make sense, the words must do what? Must agree. So we learned what a concord is, what subject is, what verb is, and then what object is. Now let us do it more practically again. You have five sentences with me. I'm going to identify a subject, verb, and an object in the following sentences. The first sentence says, South Africa does not get much rain. South Africa becomes the subject. This is what we are talking about in the sentence. And then get becomes our verb. What does South Africa get? It gets what? Much rain. Then much rain becomes our object. There must be always be a relationship between a verb and an object. An object is anything that is affected by the action of the verb. The second sentence, which is quite easy, Tabo kicks the ball. Who is performing the action is Tabo. So Tabo becomes our subject. What is he doing? He kicks. Kicks becomes the verb. And then what is he kicking? Is kicking the ball. The ball becomes our object. Again, there's a relationship between the verb and an object. But I need to explain this. A, an object is not necessarily always placed at the end of the sentence. An object can be in the middle of the sentence. For you to be able to identify an object, you must be able to relate it to the action of the verb. The third sentence, the president of South Africa passed on a new law earlier today. The president of South Africa becomes our subject. Passed becomes our verb. What did he pass? He passed a new law. So a new law becomes our object. The fourth sentence, she heard sounds coming from the garage. She becomes the subject. Heard, verb. What did she hear? She heard sounds. Sounds. So the word sound becomes our object because that is what is affected by, by the action, which is the verb. The fifth one, Tando played music softly today. Tando becomes our subject. He's, she's the one who's performing the action. And then what the kind of action did she perform? She played. The question will be now, what did she play? She played what? The music. So therefore, the music must become our object. So a subject will be uh, who or what performs the action in the sentence. The verb will be uh, the action that is being performed and then the object is it will be what is affected by the action of the verb and then remember for any sentence to make sense the words must agree and the subject verb uh, agreement we call that concord okay let us move along now most importantly i'm going to give you tips on how to identify errors in a sentence and i know in, a, in an examination sometimes we can read a sentence over and over again, finding it very difficult uh, to locate an error. I'm going to give you four golden rules that you are going to apply when a, um, correcting errors. And if you can apply the, them religiously, you will nail this sex, a section. Uh, tips on how to correct errors in a sentence. 
First and foremost, when you correct errors in a sentence, the first thing that you need to do, you need to be careful that you must check each and every word in a sentence and to check if this, uh, all the words are spelled correctly. Another form of uh, uh, another option is that you must also check the concord if all the words agree in a sentence. Like earlier on, when I said the boys is crying, there's a concord problem there. It's supposed to be the boys are crying, so you must be able to check concord. You must also be able to check tense. Determine the tense of the sentence. How do you determine the tense of the sentence? You check the verb because the verb indicates the tense of the sentence. It it tells us when action happened. Did, did the action happen now or at a later stage? Or it will happen at a later stage. So in essence, sometimes a sentence will be in a past tense. Then you find that there's one word in a, pre, uh, in a present tense. So that means that the tense of the sentence is not correct. And then punctuation. What do I mean by punctuation when correcting errors? I'm referring to the use of an apostrophe mark. And this is what uh, this is an apostrophe mark. The function of an apostrophe mark is to show possession. Again, and, and the function of an apostrophe mark is to shorten the weight. This is what we mean by contraction. Now, the, the word doesn't, it's a shorter version of does not. So you apply the apostrophe mark here to show that the word is contracted. A contraction is a shortened weight. Maybe if I do not want to say cannot, then I say can't using an apostrophe mark. So you find that sometimes the apostrophe mark will be placed after it, a T. That will be a, a, an error. That means that what you are supposed to do now is to write doesn't again and place the apostrophe mark where it should be placed. And then another form, a function of an uh, apostrophe mark is to, so, is to indicate possession. Possession meaning that something that belongs to you. The car is his. This uh, punctuation it's used to indicate the car belong to her so sometimes you find that the apostrophe mark is been placed after s which is wrong then you must correct it to place it between r and s this is what we mean when i say you must also check apostrophe yeah and I, I want us to do this practically and to check as to whether we understand i'm going to use previous question papers let us get in all now it says that the first one says he does not look a day older than 100. When concord is a problem, you will hear when you pronounce the sentence that some, something is not correct. You can hear when you read the sentence out loud that something is not correct. So obviously in the number eight, the problem is concord. We need to replace it then with than. So the sentence should be read as he does not look a day older than 100. That will be correct. <clears throat> and the problem there, it is Concord. And then number B, but Admiral, the tortoise living at Michel Park Zoo, celebrated his 105th birthday recently. Uh, when I pronounce it, I don't hear Concord problem, but I can see there's a spelling problem. This is not how you write recently. You don't write recently with an S, but you write recently with a C. So the problem with number B, it was a spelling. And then number C, Admiral ar arrived at Michel Park uh, about one or five years ago, courtesy of a unknown naval officer. Again, just like number one, number C, when I pronounce it, I can hear that something doesn't come out right. So therefore, it's about the error there is concord again, where you're supposed to say a um, courtesy of an unknown naval officer, not a unknown naval officer. So the, the problem in C, it is concord. Now, number D, he says that he has found them in Seychelles in 1950, according to Michelle Park archives. When you read the sentence, it sounds correct. But if you can carefully look at the sentence, it's incorrect because the word found is a past tense. And therefore, the word has must change to become had to complement the verb because the verb is in a past tense. So the correct read should be he had found them in the Seychelles in 1915, according to Michelle Park archives. So the problem in number D, it was tense. Now, if you can see what I've done, I've applied the four rules that I've taught you on the, uh, that I, I, I outlined on the previous slide. Let us continue, let us do another four so that you can, you can soak in, you can understand them far more better. And the next slide again, the first sentence says, the wrong, the role of homegrown talent is growing across the world. It reads well, it sounds well, 
So I need to check if all the words are spelled correctly. No, 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 no. Across is not spelled correctly. This is not how you spell across. You don't spell across, across with double C. It should be only one C. And then this is the correct spelling. So number A, the problem was spelling. Number B, Lebo M is the, is the celebrated musician and composer who helped put the Lion King in the world map. You do not put the uh, Lion King in, but it's supposed to be on. So English, you must know when to use in and when to use on. So the problem again is Concord. In number B, it's supposed to be on the world map. And then number C, 30 productions of the musical is being performed worldwide. Concord, Concord, Concord. How many things are we talking about? The subject is in a plural form. 30 production. There are many. So I don't expect to, you to see the word is because is is used to exp um, when the subject is in a singular form. When you are only talking about one thing, the boy is, but the boys are plural form. So th therefore, it's supposed to be 30 production of the musical are being performed worldwide. So again, the problem is Concord, where we are going to replace is with a for the sentence to be correct. Number D, Lebo attributes its success to the power of his relationship with Hans Zimmer, with who he worked on Disney's on Disney's on Disney The Lion King. But it's supposed to be with whom he worked, whom referring to a person again. The problem was Concord. So you can see that. If you check spelling, if you check concord, if you check tense, and only punctuation of an apostrophe if it is there. Do not add an apostrophe if the apostrophe initially was not there. So if you can follow the four steps, you will be able to get all the errors correct. Thank you. Thank you once more for supporting and paying attention and doing your work. I hope this video was fruitful to you. Let us meet again when next time when I'm going to do active and passive voice. Happy learning. Thank you.